say we kill them? Or maybe I die, okay. So Wicker has one, I got ten. So welcome back guys to another video on Reactor Metal. Now today we're gonna to be making a part four kind of of the round system tutorial. Now a lot of people suggested me to do this uh, because I don't know they were a bit confused. Now I actually did put this in one of my models I think so it was part of my part two so how to make a smart round system. Um, I don't I don't think I showed you guys how to do it in the video but. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make it. So the winner of that round, of each round, so there's a round system, and it's going to be based off elimination. So every time someone dies, they're going to be eliminated and they're going to be teleported back to the lobby. And we want to make so the last player, uh, the last player left in the round um, gets wins or gets coins or just any type of stat. So we're going to be making this by first making a leader stat script. So let's make a new script just so it's more organized. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's call this leader stats. Doesn't matter. Leader stats. I don't even know. Uh, leader stats. Okay. Now, uh, first we need a okay a player added event. So game the players the player added connect function. So this function will run every time a player joins. So whenever a player joins, we wanna uh actually in this um and the parameter we want player so we can get access to the player that joined. And then we're gonna make uh, some values. So to make a leader stat, or to make a yeah, uh, to make a leader stat, so a stat that can appear on the top right, uh, like with the uh, player list. So you want to make a folder called leader stats. So local leader stats equal instance that new folder. Um, here we make a new folder. So leader stats that name equals folder. Oh, not sorry, not folder leader stats it has to be called leader stats. It has to be called exactly leader stats, otherwise, it won't show on the player uh, player list. Leader stats, okay, leader stats apparent equals player. So we parent it under the player that join, and this will happen for every player that joins a server. Then we can make a new uh, stat. So let's call this wins for now. Wins equals instant that new uh, number value. What's that name? Name equals wins. Wins that parent equal leader stats. So we want to put all the values or all the stats inside the leader stats, which is a folder, right? Okay, and then we can pretty much do the same thing here. And I can do another second, do as much stats as we want. We can do like coins equals instance dot new. Uh, again, another number value because this is stores numbers. Coins dot name equals coins. So the coin, let me spell that right. Okay. Coins dot not only value, um value like by default will be zero. So I don't have so that parent equal leader stats. Alright, so we have so I have both of our stats right here. Now when we join right now, so I can I can see I'm gonna join right now. <clears throat> Gonna see these uh, two in the player list, along with the players, right? So you got wins are here, coins. Uh, they are both zero by default. So how can we make it so when there's a round, and the player wins a round by being the last player left, how do we make it so the player gets a win or amount of coins? So now this is the round system script. Now I've go I've gone over this a lot of times in my previous round system tutorial. So definitely, definitely, definitely watch that before. Um, watch this one in case you want to um, understand um so this is our round in round change event you want to skip down to the main round function which is right here this is a what well, this is like a this is what is, is the main function that loops so right here we have a while through to loop um this is for uh this is for the required amount of players so if you want to change this you can change it if you want so by default i made it so uh at least two players are required for a round to start uh, okay, now let's skip back, uh, skip to the for loop. This is the for, the first one, the first for loop, which is the intermission. This will be during the lobby. And when the countdown finishes for the lobby, we want to teleport, um, well, the round will start. So that's why we change the value of in round to true. And then we can start with the uh, round countdown. So this countdown, uh, countdown, this is the countdown for the round 
um, until ends. All right, so the round lengths are here. You can chain these. So the intermission round length, you can chain both of these. So if you want to make the round length longer, you can make it like 20, 30, whatever. Well, probably more than that. But this is just for demonstration. Um, so this is for over here. Um, now what we do here is you make a table. Now this, this table will store all the players that are in the round and every second. So every second it counts down. We want to uh, reset the table right here. So as you can see, we reset the table. And we store all the players that are in the round and we can find them um, by checking their team. So their team is playing right here. So we have the team. And the team is playing, meaning they're still in the round. We put them in a table. So now this is how we check whether or not the players are still uh, in the round. So, for example, if there's two players in this table, that means there are two players in this round. And when there's zero players, as you can see, I made this if thing, uh, that means no one won. If there's one a player in that table, I mean, there's one winner, and we want to give them points or wins or whatever. So this is why uh, you want to use this table. Now we can make an if statement. So we can do number of play, uh, if number of playing, which is the table, equals one, then that means there's one player left. We want to uh, actually loop through all the, I mean, because what we did, actually, we didn't insert the player, but we inserted the player's name. So we want to um, actually loop through all the players in the server and see uh, and check, uh, or we want to get the player from the server by their name. So that makes sense. Uh, so for a uh, player in pairs, uh game the players players get children do if playing i or one because that the player is the last person in the table so their index would be one uh equal player name then um actually we can make it a variable for this instead why not you don't really have to well that's better if it was local a uh, winner, winner equals playing, playing one, first index of the playing table. So winner, or actually winner, yeah, okay, so winner, um, no, no, that's the name, winner name, the winner name, winner name, whatever, the winner name. So if winner name was player name, then player, it's a player dot leader stats, where we sort the stats that wins plus equals one. Now this is the same exact thing as saying, uh, for example, the same as saying equals player at leader stats that wins plus one. But this is much more shorter, so you can just do plus equals one. This is adds one to the player. Uh, oh, sorry, it's value. Sorry, value. I always make that mistake. I don't know why. Um, so this is. Uh, this adds one to their wins value. I can do the same thing with the other stat. Instead of wins that value, do coins, and then you can add this five. All right. Now when we're done with that, we finish uh, with this for loop right here. Uh, okay. So when we finish with for loop, uh, after this if statement right here. So after this if statement, so if playing that, uh, so if the number of players left is one. So after you finished uh, giving the player their stats like wins or coins we want to break out of the for loop which is this for loop here so we don't want to count anymore we don't want we don't want to count down we want the round to stop and continue um or to, to restart basically so this, this is why we do break and yeah that's pretty much <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it so when this breaks we'll restart all the way uh all over again with this uh while through the loop so i think this should be all now let's actually test this out with one player first. In this case, there's something wrong. Um, then we can test it out with our gaming buddies. And yeah, so first. All right, so now we're second left. Not sure why. Oh, wow. Is there, um, is there? Hmm, my, okay, that's weird. Whatever. VC, okay. So I think what it does, okay, I didn't actually, what you can, you can do actually, um, is, well, I actually forgot to do that, holy, um, we want to actually change the status too, by the way, so we did a wait one, I think here, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, it's for loop, uh, this is the for loop right here, right, this is the for loop, uh, for a round length, 
Oh, um, actually, probably want to put this right here. I make me it's three. And then what I forgot to do is actually uh, change the status. So status is what appears right here. So what appears in this GUI is basically the status. You want to say, I uh, want it to say um, who won the round and yeah, that's fine. So status of value equals winner name has won the has won the game. That's the only thing I really forgot. And you also want to put wait just so it doesn't so just want to like restart automatically like immediately. Uh, so you want to put like a little bit of delay. And this act after the for loop. If you want that after the for loop uh, after it breaks. That's why. Uh, so let's test it out real quick. Hmm, let's see. Gonna wait bits. Okay. So you want to check the wins and coins too. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's say recur has won the game, as you can see. I got awarded one win and five coins. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna actually I'm gonna cut to um another clip with me and my friends and yeah. Okay, so we are back with my boy Lenovo V V V. I don't know how to spell the name. Okay, so we're back in the round and let's say we kill it. Oh I got that. okay. So we has one, I got ten oh wait, no no. Five five coins and one win. So that's pretty much how it works. Um and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more Definitely like uh, like the video, subscribe, uh, and give suggestions. Oh, this guy killed me. Give suggestions on what I should make next. Uh, and also check out our Discord, because uh, it's pretty helpful. If you have something uh, wrong, definitely check out our Discord. We have uh, lots of people to help. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Oh, this guy keep on killing me, bro. Uh, anyways, yeah, ignore this. Um, but yeah, this is how it works. It's pretty cool. Right, I'm just going to jump off a cliff now.